Hello you two, welcome to another week of English. Um, this week we are going to take a little break from our writing about the Great Fire of London. I know when we were at school last week we were talking about this wonderful diary that we are going to write all about the book that we were reading. We're going to do that next week when we are all back at school. So this week we are going to do some story writing. I have got a special box here and it is full of objects that are going to help us with our story writing. So let's have a look inside. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to take out one item at a time so we can have a little look. Okay, so the first thing in the box is this, a solid gold ball. Pause the video and have a think, where might a solid gold ball have come from? Who might it belong to? Why might somebody have a solid gold ball? Off you go. Welcome back. I wonder what you thought of. Maybe it belongs to a king or a queen. Maybe someone has stolen it from somebody. Who knows? Okay, let's see what the next item is. Ooh, a magnifying glass. If I look through it, I can see things a lot bigger. Ooh, who might a magnifying glass belong to? Who would need a magnifying glass for their job? What are they going to look at through the magnifying glass? Pause the video and have a think about that. Welcome back. So maybe it belongs to a detective trying to uncover a mystery be something that's been lost or maybe they're looking for some fingerprints if something has been stolen and they're trying to work out who has done the stealing. Okay let's have a look back in the box to see the next object. Oh a bunch of keys. There are four different keys on here and they all look quite old. They don't look like the type of keys that we would have to open our houses nowadays. So I wonder where these have come from. Maybe they were discovered somewhere, buried, maybe somebody dug them up. Maybe they unlock a secret door somewhere. Have a think. What do you think the keys are for? How could the keys fit into a story? Pause the video and have a think. Off you go. Welcome back. So maybe the keys open the door to a secret passageway that's going to lead the characters to a brand new place where an adventure could happen. Who knows? If we were going to describe the keys, maybe we would say they're rusty. So they don't look like new keys. They definitely look old. Okay, let's have a look to see what else is in the box. We have got a lighthouse. So you might think back to our learning before Christmas when we did our, oh, I do like to be beside the seaside topic. How could a lighthouse come into a story? Maybe somebody lives in the lighthouse. It could be the characters in the story. They would have to climb all the way to the top to turn on the light every day to make sure that everyone can see the coastline so none of the boats crash. What could happen in a story with a lighthouse? Pause the video and have a think. Okay, welcome back. So maybe a story about a lighthouse, maybe one night the light doesn't work. What would happen if the light didn't work in the lighthouse? What would happen if something crashed into the lighthouse? Maybe the person who lives in the lighthouse goes on an adventure. Who knows? Okay, let's see what's next. Ooh, we've got a bag of gems. These look like treasure to me. So how could a bag of gems be in a story? Pause the video and have a think. Welcome back. So I've got some of these gems here out of the bag. How could we describe them? They're smooth, shiny, almost clear, translucent would be our scientific word to describe them. There's some different coloured ones, a blue one, a green one, 
more of a turquoise colour and a clear one. I wonder who they belong to. Has somebody lost the gems? Has somebody found the gems? Who knows? Okay, let's see what else is in the box. Ooh, we have got a fan. Okay, pause the video and have a think about the fan. How could this fit into a story? Who might it belong to? What type of place might the story be set in? What is the setting of the story if somebody would need a fan? Have a think, pause the video and then come back. So I think if a fan was in a story, the story would be set in a hot country because a fan keeps you nice and cool. I wonder who it belongs to. There are pictures of the ocean on it, so maybe it belongs to somebody who enjoys the seaside or the ocean. Maybe it belongs to a mermaid or someone else who lives in the ocean. Who knows? I'm sure we could write an exciting story about a fan. Okay, the last thing in the box is a trophy. And it's a second place trophy. So how could this fit into a story? Maybe there's some kind of competition that somebody has won or not won, they've come second. Have a little think, pause the video, and then I'll share my ideas. Welcome back. So I wonder what was this trophy won for? Maybe somebody won a sporting competition, maybe football or tennis or running. Or maybe it was a different type of competition, like a making competition. Maybe somebody had to bake the best cake and this person came second. Or maybe it was a gardening competition to grow the longest carrot or the fattest pumpkin. Who knows? And I wonder how this fits into a story. Is the story about the competition and the person winning? Or is it about the medal being stolen or lost? Who does it belong to? Are two people fighting over the medal, over the trophy? Maybe two people think they are the deserving winners, but only one of them can have it. Who knows? So what I would like you to do now is have a think about all of those objects. Let me just remind you of them. We've got the solid gold ball, the fan, the trophy, the bag of gems, the magnifying glass, the bunch of ancient keys, and the lighthouse. And what you are going to do is this week you are going to write a story about an object. So you can either choose one of these objects or you can go on a hunt around your house and see if you can find any interesting objects yourself that you would like to write your story about. I don't mind, that is completely up to you. So this is the sheet that you are going to use to plan your story. So your story is going to need a beginning, a build up, a dilemma, a resolution and an ending. You will recognise this sheet from when we used it at school, when we wrote our stories about where the wild things are, so you know all about these parts of the story, but I will remind you now. So the beginning, you need to introduce your characters in the beginning, so you'll need to think about who your character is going to be, where the setting is, and your object. Is the object going to be in the story at the beginning? It might not be. You can just draw some pictures for this beginning section to set the story off. Then you will need to think about the next section of your story and that is the build up. So the most exciting part won't have happened yet. But your characters maybe are going to travel somewhere They'll be on their way something before the really exciting part happens. So in the build up section, you can draw some pictures and maybe label them for that part of your story. The third section is the dilemma. This is where something goes wrong or the really exciting bit happens. So you need to think, what is the main part of your story? 
when I was thinking of my ideas, I had ideas of things being stolen or things being lost. That could be your dilemma. The next part of the story is the resolution. And this is how it all gets solved. So whatever has gone wrong in the dilemma, this is how it gets fixed. So what have your characters done? Have they found something that had been lost? Have they discovered who the person was who stole something? How have they resolved your story? So draw some pictures there to remind you of what you are going to write. You can also label it if you would like to. And then we need an ending to your story. So what's going to happen to your characters at the end? Where are they going to go? Are you going to leave your story so it's open, so there could be another story that follows it, or are you going to completely end your story? That is up to you. You can draw up some pictures there to explain it. So now you need to look back over all of the pictures that you have drawn today and think about each section in detail because later in the week you are going to write your story. Maybe you'd like to act out your story at home so you can imagine that you are one of the characters. Maybe you want to write a few words or phrases in each section just to remind you of things that you are going to write. But once you've done that, that is all for today and I will be back tomorrow to talk about the characters in your story in a little bit more detail. Bye for now!